Hi there, y'all. I'm Tom, and this is Empty Pantry Entrees. Again, recording this intro from my computer desk instead of the kitchen. But I promise you, this is still the best place to learn all the skills you need to make delicious creations from only the odds and ends in your pantry. And today, we're making an ultra-quick and delicious set of chorizo egg tacos. God, I'm turning into a taco channel at this point. Like, half of the recipes that are any good on this channel are just tacos. <sighs> That's okay, that's okay. We repeat the mantra. The best carbs are tortillas. Every day we say that to ourselves. These chorizo tacos are fantastic. They only take about 15, 20 minutes to make up and they are a amazing way to start your day off with a full belly with delicious food. They've been in my rotation for weekend meals for a good long time now, and it's honestly kind of shocking that they haven't made it to the Empty Pantry Andres channel yet. So without further ado, I think it is about time for us to move on. We'll start this recipe off like every other proper Empty Pantry Entrees recipe by mincing up a bit of white onion. You know the drill here, peel, slice, spin, dice, and you've got yourself a lovely little pile of finely diced onions for sauteing. Up next on the chopping block is going to be a handful of grape tomatoes, fresh from a rinse in the sink. For these, I'll be slicing them lengthwise, laying them on their face, then chopping into little bits. The next important step is to hit your pile of maters with a smidgen of salt to awaken that savory MSG. Less than an eighth of a teaspoon or so, though. No need to over-salt it here. Mix that salt in real well, and then set aside in a prep cup. Then I've got about a half a green pepper that is, you know, well in need of using up. Slice off the sides, avoiding the seeds at all cost, discarding the core, then slivering down the sides, rotating and chopping across several to result in about half an inch chunks. It doesn't have to be an exact science here. Those peppers are then going to be placed in the same prep cup as the onions since they have similar cook times. Also kind of fitting that I use the R Taco margarita cups as my prep cups, with this being, you know, a better homemade version of their chorizo egg taco that I used to order all the time. Anyhow, with your cilantro all minced up, we'll move on to the last order of business, cracking into a cup four large eggs. I typically like to budget about two eggs per serving on this recipe. On top of which, you'll sprinkle in a tablespoon of water and mix thoroughly. Trust me on this one, that little bit of water really helps to make those eggs extra fluffy. Again, sprinkle with a small portion of salt and a healthier portion of black pepper. Gotta season all the layers along the way. Except for the star of the show, chorizo. Oddly enough, I've tried multiple brands of chorizo at the store, but for some reason, the cheapest $2 tube always seems to be the fattiest and most savory sort of flavor that makes these tacos so unbelievably delicious. I, I cannot lie to you though, this step of squeezing the pork fat out of the unholy balloon animal snake is not a pleasant step, but just power through, just, just trust me. For this two serving recipe, I typically like to use about half of the chorizo log, minced and broken down into little bits with a wooden spoon or a silicon spatula. Let that deliciously spiced processed meat sizzle away over a medium high heat for about five minutes or so, until you get these like slight indications of burning. Then, in goes the onion and pepper mixture to soak up a good bit of that grease in the pan. Toss and mix to combine, and let sizzle away until the onions and peppers lose their rigidity in another eh, three minutes or so. Onto a second pan goes a few corn tortillas set over a high heat to get some nice toasties on both sides, like so. Then, into the main pan goes your salted maters, stirred to combine and just barely brought up to temperature before hand shredding a big ol' bunch of spinach, you know, just to lie to yourself to, you know, say that there's some sort of healthiness going into this breakfast. Once the spinach has completely disappeared via wilting, push your fillings over to one side of the pan, tilt towards the other, and slowly pour in your egg mixture. Try to keep things as separate as possible and stir that egg mixture frequently to maintain small and fluffy bits. Pull the pan off the stove just before those eggs are done cooking through. I promise the residual heat from the pan will help them coast to perfection. Now, since I'm from the Midwest, I like a dollop of sour cream right on the base of the tortilla. You do you though, you make your taco, you gotta sleep in it too. Stuff in then a small scoop of your chorizo fillings, layer on top a few bites of your scrambled eggs, then comes a sprinkling of shredded cheese and a pinch of your minced cilantro from earlier. And now just take a moment to look at how incredible these tacos look. They are 
unbelievably savory for how quick and how easy they are to make up. And no offense to our taco, they've got a great establishment, but they've got nothing on my rendition of the chorizo egg taco. If you wanted to take this a step further, a great place to start would be to make your own salsa. I've got a pretty fire salsa verde recipe on this channel that you should totally check out if you're interested. Again, you've really got to try out these tacos because they're a fantastic weekend breakfast and an awesome way to start your day. But with that, that's about all that I have for you today. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, you know, the whole nine yards. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you all in the next one.